if we go straight on and keep moving and keep moving uh, without ever repeating it, we may possibly lose some of some of it. So let's say you and I are in a uh, movie, you know, and boom, 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 there's guns going off and someone dies, and then we go home. That death is quite tragic and traumatic. But if on the way home there was a lot more shots and a lot more bodies and a lot more things and it took us six years to get home, six years <laughs> to get home, the initial trauma from the first body, from the very first body, would be less traumatic. Hi, Adrian here, NLP trainer and coach. This video that you're about to watch is filmed in a live Zoom class. We have expatriates based all around the world and we do these classes and we share a little bit with you because we think it's important that you get to see what goes on behind closed doors and how some of these processes really work. I hope you enjoy, make sure you click the subscribe button and we'll see you at the end. No, I just wanted to say the question I, I wrote in the chat, I think it's more complicated than just like giving a quick explanation, but I'm, I'm, it's not struggling, but I'm thinking about this um, from the beginning because that's my own experience. And I have the feeling it's like a pattern that repeats once and again and again, this kind of losing strength or losing power with this, um, yeah, things I've tried to anchor. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was it a question about anchors becoming weaker over time? Right. Mm. Possibly. I think so. You know, you go to a funeral, someone dies, it's terrible. And then after the grieving process, from time to time, we think about them and we might grieve some more. Ten years down the track, we're like... Yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. But um, if I focus on the positive things, I want to... I'm not talking about years, I'm talking about days, weeks. And like this, um, you call that, I think, emotional impact, right? Now, emo emotional charge. If this emotional charge is somehow every time diminishing, the question is, is because it was not en emotional enough? Or what, what is behind that? This is where I'm asking myself. The repetition makes it like kind of boring or kind of not attractive or not emotional enough somewhere. Yeah, I think the repetition helps it become trained in the initial event. The, if the initial event has more emotional shock, it's more likely to be there. And also repetition, repetition. Repetition, repetition will, will wear it in. So if there's a big emotional shock or surprise, that's one aspect. And then the repetition is another aspect. If we go straight on and keep moving and keep moving uh, without ever repeating it, we may possibly lose some of, some of it. So let's say you and I are in a uh, movie, you know, and boom, 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 there's guns going off and someone dies, and then we go home. That death is quite tragic and traumatic. But if on the way home there was a lot more shots and a lot more bodies and a lot more things, and it took us six years to get home, six years mm -hmm. to get home, the initial trauma from the first body, from the very first body, would be less traumatic. Sure. Because there were so many more. And uh, mm. we, 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 we kept going. We didn't stop. And this is what happens, I think, sometimes with PTSD. Is it's just, they're, they're so on the ball. Hi. They often don't get to stop and reflect. Settle it. Okay, Karina, there's, there's also a belief 
Uh, and this is, this is pretty, this is very, very strong in the psychological therapeutic world uh, is that the mind holds some things for processing. So the mind might hold that event and it might hold it somehow in the body, you know, neurons somewhere in the body, possibly as a lump somewhere or a bunch of connections somewhere. And it'll hold it and maybe suppress it. So in our mind, we have suppressed emotions or suppressed memories that our, our brain kind of holds onto them because we need to learn from them. Mm -hmm. Or we need to do something, you know, to make sure that doesn't happen again or to protect ourselves. And sometimes this comes up in neuromuscular lock or other things. And uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a very relaxed process to maybe find some of those things, see what the lessons are learned, see what there is to learn from it, and then we'll find them releasing, just releasing and then just... Mm -hmm. So we are talking now, or you're talking now about, about uh, traumas. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. But you could also, I never spoke about this before, but you could also have the same thing with very positive emotions. Yeah, because I think that's the most difficult thing. I mean, to be very concrete, what I was trying was to like recall this confidence feeling based on some situations in the past. And the situations, if you repeat using them very often, it's like, it's not so emotional, it's not so cool uh, someone anymore. So that's the way, uh, or the question I have, how to tune that in such a way that it's still like super brilliant and super nice and uh, that's it. Yep. Remember when we are associated, some modalities, when we are more associated, we have more emotional mm -hmm. oomph. Mm -hmm. When we think about someone that passed away 10, 20 years ago, we have a lot of dissociation and time is also dissociation. Mm -hmm. Yet when someone's just died and we're like unpacking their house, you know, we're, we're pretty damn associated. Mm -hmm. And I guess... Sometimes we could leave someone or, or have a breakup. And even though they've gone, we could still be kind of, we could get trapped into one of those things where we struggle with it. And every day we're thinking about that, that person and those struggles. So it kind of stays there. And even though time goes on, it's what's it doing? Repeating, repeating, repeating. So we associate into those memories and get really, really confident. And if the memory is painful, maybe stay back. Boom! You made it here! Good on you. Make sure you click the subscribe button below and check out the playlist at the end. If you'd like to come along to our Sunday sessions where we host a live free Q&A for our students and members, you're welcome. I'll see you there.